the UNO men's basketball team played here at the Sepp Fieldhouse for 63 years. But they seem to be enjoying their new home at the Ralston Arena. So it's been a great place for our, for our kids to play. They really enjoy it there, which I think is, is most important. But I, you know, past that, I think the students have really liked it, and I think the fans have liked it. I think it's a great place to watch a game. Uh, I, th I think the seats are close. Um, you know, we have great amenities outside of the uh, outside of the arena with our locker room and training facilities and coaches' offices, which help us prepare for games as well down there. So, you know, you look at it from uh, all those facets. We really think that Ralston's been a good move for our basketball program. Currently, the Mavs are seven and sixteen overall and have a four and six record in conference play. The 3,500 capacity building has drawn in quite a crowd so far in their seven home games, averaging 1,120 fans per game. But when it comes to which venue is better, it's not an easy decision. You know, I will say this, uh, SAP has, has been great to us, it's great to us for 60 some years. Uh, there's got great character here, there's been great coaches here, Jared, there's been great players come through here, uh, there's been great games here. Uh, and. And you can never, never, ever deny that. But uh, as time moves on, uh, things change, uh, and we're in a situation now in Division One athletics where we need some different options to sell seats, to sell season tickets, to be able to do those kinds of things in a different form of fashion that you could at the SAP. Uh, it's just a different, it's a different situation for us. So love the SAP forever, but I think Ralston is the right move for us as we have to move into the future. Mavericks are four and three here at the Ralston Arena. The next game is on January 31st against Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne. For the Omaha News, I'm Jared Meyer.